Hello once again folks and uh, you're very welcome along to another video from Gundog and Fly. And um, this is Ruby here and if you watched my last video you might remember Ruby, seven months old, brought to me because she was allegedly out of control. And um, I've been doing a little bit of work with her since. The principal problem was she was heading off and hunting off in the distance far outside of gunshot range and would be of absolutely no use to anybody who wanted a serious hunting dog. So I've discovered a few things about Ruby in between times and I'm going to talk about them in a little while but first of all I want to talk about something very important and that's your relationship with your dog. When Ruby came to me um, she was very distant, she didn't want to be around me, she was standoffish. And as you can see now, we have bonded. I spent quite a lot of time with Ruby, just spending time with her and trying to get her um, to understand that I was her friend. And she now realizes that and she's very happy to be around me. And I think that's one of the principal problems there was with her, we we'll call her now her previous owner because I now own Ruby. So anyway, I just spent time in the yard with her, just like this, making friends with her, and she, a lot of the time she wouldn't even come near me, but eventually she began to trust me, and now we have what I would consider a very strong bond and a very good relationship. And because of that, she will now want to please me. With her previous owner, unfortunately, there was no reason for her to stay around her owner because there was nothing there for her. This is vitally important to understand. If you want to train a dog, you have to have a bond. So establishing that bond is critical. So now that Ruby uh, and I are great friends and we have this great relationship, training will be relatively easy because she'll want to please me. Good girl, Ruby. So now I brought her here to this place today to further, um, to do a little bit of further training in regard to her running off because she she got that habit and now I'm going to try and break it and in the last video you saw how I started off make life interesting in your immediate environs right around you so that the dog wants to stay around you and eventually what happens over time the dog will become if you like habituated to staying in your immediate area and that's where you want her to be. Now when you're training a dog to do this, particularly if they've had the problem and you're trying to fix it, it's best you do it ever before the problem develops but in any case when the problem develops if you're trying to fix it it's best that you you spend as much time as possible trying to fix the problem i.e. at least every day if you can at all and twice a day would be even better. Now I know a lot of people don't have the time to, sp to spend that much time on training a dog, but get out as often as possible and stick to a rigid regime to break the bad habits. And today, when I'm, I brought her here to this area here, because we have a bit of ground cover and it's relatively high. Now that will help me from the point of view is she can't see too far, she can't see the horizon, so to speak. So she won't put her head up and see the distance and want to go. She won't be able to physically see that far. So that will help in keeping her around me. I've also brought the distraction, I brought the tennis balls, which she's interested in. And every time she goes to go out any real distance from me, I'm gonna get her attention, throw the ball in the air, and she will then come back to the immediate area. And a continuance of that on a regular basis will break the habit of her running off and doing her own thing. So that's the plan today. Ruby, Ruby, good girls. Good girls. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a couple of little walks up and down with her on the lead, get her to sit a couple of times, and that just kind of, if you like, is her introduction to training each time I bring her out. So when I start doing that with her, she knows, hold on, um, this is a training day. Okay, Ruby, here we go. So I'm just going to walk her up and down here a couple of times. Come on, Ruby. Good girl. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Now, you see she's mad keen to go. So preventing her from going immediately also establishes your dominance. 
I think her owner was probably just bringing her into a field, immediately letting her go so she then had a license to do what she wanted. With me, it's a different story. She has to, I do think. Go along, Ruby. The way up. Hop, hop, hop. Good girl. Once or twice more. I'm going to use the whistle as well. Hop. Good girl. Good girl. Once more. Hop. Good girl. Now, because I've done those few little things, she now knows this is a training exercise. She can't just run off and do whatever she likes. So here we go. Get on, Ruby. Go on, good girl. Good girl. Now she's watching my hands because she remembers the last time and the balls. So she's already staying around where I want her to be. So the training is working. Good girl, Ruby. Good girl. Loads of encouragement when she's doing the right thing. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Throw the ball, let her see us. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now she's watching my hands. Ruby. Ruby, good girl, Ruby. Ruby. So as you can see, dogs, and in particular, young dogs like Ruby, who's only seven months, are very easy to train really. Once they understand what you want and you have the bond with them. Good Ruby! 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 Hey, 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 hey! Ruby, hey! What's that? What's that? What's that? Good girl. Now she went over there and she started looking into the distance. I spotted that and I immediately intervened. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on, good girl. Now, that's it folks. It's simple stuff really. The importance of your relationship with the dog cannot be overemphasized. If your relationship is correct with the dog, the dog will see you as a leader, will want to do, uh, will want to please you basically. Good girl. So that's only just literally a five minutes of training. But that five minutes of training, once, twice a day, if at all possible, will train Ruby to stay where she should be. And that's right here with me. So there you go, folks. I hope all of this made sense to you. And um, I'll be doing this regularly with Ruby and bringing her to places, like I said, where she can't see the horizon. That's also important. So thanks very much for joining me again today. And, uh, I'll keep you updated with Ruby's progress in the future and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and maybe found it instructive and if you have any questions jump into the comment section and uh, ask me and I'll do my very best to answer it best I can. Also I'm leaving a little link in the description to this video where you can make a small financial contribution on my Revolut page if you think um, my videos are worthy of a small financial contribution. It would help the channel enormously. So thanks again for joining me and good evening, Keodorala. Good day, Shif Sloan. Come on, Ruby. Good girl.